In this video, we will show you how data is presented and managed on the Invitrogen Qubit 4 fluorometer. The concentration of the original sample is prominently displayed. There are arrows on either side of the screen. You can either swipe or press the buttons. If you scroll to the right, you can see the sample displayed on the same graph as the standards. You can run additional samples, and these are added to the same graph. Previous samples can be accessed from the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom. The graph can hold up to 20 samples and will be cleared when you either export the data or run a new assay. If you run more than 20 samples, the 21st sample will replace the first sample. The graph will also display whether a sample is within the extended range of the assay or out of range. If you want to change the unit output value, you can scroll back to the sample input screen. You will need to run the sample again to see the values displayed with the new units. All of your data are automatically saved in sequential order. You can change the order of the samples. From the data screen, you can also access additional information about each sample, the concentration, the volume of the sample, and the RFUs for the sample and the standards. Each sample is automatically saved with a unique time and date stamp, but the stamp can also be changed. Data can be exported via a USB thumb drive or directly to a computer using a USB cable. After pressing export, you can select all of the data or specific runs. The data is saved as a single CSV file. For more information on the Qubit 4, please view our other how-to videos or visit thermofisher.com slash qubit.